Hi everybody, uh, I am making this video, hopefully I won't make it too long, but I'm making this video today to talk about a kind of game I'm working on, just more or less playing around with, uh, based on a YouTube series uh, of tutorials by Star Reaper Studios. So they're creating, uh, or the dude's creating some really good uh, tutorials on creating a GTA-like game in Unreal Engine. Um, starting with this base asset pack called Polygon City, um, and he's done some really good stuff. I just want to add what I've done to it to enhance it a little, to, to give him a, uh, and to give back and let other people try it out. So um, I, he recently started doing traffic, so I've been following that. So that's, you might, if you've only done, if by chance you've only done the, uh, the GTA 5 uh, VR game video series he did, then there's going to be some extra stuff in here, but I'm just going to go through some of the enhancements I made. Hopefully somebody will get something good out of it. Um, so uh, first and foremost, uh, like the, the, the kind of the first additional thing I added was breakable objects. So all the, the world assets that looked fun to run over, uh, I, I turned into uh, what I called world objects, just they're actors. Um, and they react to getting hit by a car or any object at a decent speed. Um, that's what these little boxes around them are their hit boxes. Uh, if you're going an appropriate speed when you hit them, uh, they will knock over. And that's pretty cool. Uh, let's try that out. Uh, so press enter to spawn, press F. Um, so I've got traffic driving around as well. That's part of the, the new series that adds traffic. But you can see like these little uh, road blockers I added. Bam, they break. Now the physics are a little wacky. Um, I still haven't fine tuned them enough, but as you can see, it broke all the little thingies. Well, not all of them, until my car went flipping. Uh, this car seems to flip really easy in comparison to the other ones. I don't know if it's the hitbox shape or what. In any case, um, that works pretty well. Um, you also notice there's cars everywhere. I didn't load all these cars. What I did was created spawners that spawn the cars and they spawn them random orientation forward or backwards and uh, will also leave occasional ones blank. So it looks like a real city uh, street. It's not fine tunable yet. I like percentage would be nice to say like 30% uh, full. That way time of day you could fill the, the parking lots at different rates. Uh, that'd be pretty cool. Um, but I added that. Uh, I added people spawners, so I don't have to manually place people. They are already in the world. Uh, now the AI is bugging out a little right now. I haven't yet figured out why. Uh, probably because of the mods I've made to make the cars work. But there's the people. They spawn automatically uh, at doorways that I put a spawner in front of. Um, and they would wander around, but they're not. That's part of the other tutorial series. So. Uh, that's the basics of it. Um, now, the big change I made uh, recently was adding his cars. Uh, they do a pretty good job. Uh, there are some spots they get stuck, like here. They tend to, as these guys have, and I just need to adjust the path. Sometimes a little nudge like that can do a lot of good, though. Um, give this guy a nudge, too. There we go. And that gets traffic moving again. So they just, uh, they try to take this turn too fast. Uh, one of my next things is adjusting turn speeds and stuff to, to give it a bit, of, a little bit better of a curve. Uh, I don't currently have street lights working. That is a planned item, uh, but I have not tried yet. I know the Star Reaper Studios is going to put out a tutorial. Um, but yeah, I really like being able to knock things around. That's a lot more fun that way. These guys I just set to, um, they don't have hitboxes or anything, or like not added hitboxes. Um, you can get stuck, unfortunately. Uh, you know, it's a it's a alpha stage game or earlier um, pre-alpha. Um, but the cones, I just made physical objects that could get knocked around in the Unreal Engine. Uh, that's all I did. But yeah, so uh, some of the additions uh, more recently. Uh, like I said, I made the the stuff breakable, but these paths that are all over the place for the cars to follow. I made little placards so I know what the name of the road is and the name of the object that is the road. And that's important because if we F11 back out of here, we will see uh, over here we've got 
straight, left, and right. Those are the options of directions that you might turn at the end of the spline. So the label is generally at the beginning. There's some that aren't, and that's because of weird things about moving splines on the map. While the object stays in place, it's strange, and I haven't fixed them. But if I wanted to, so if I change this, right now it's at uh, Spline Street 1 is where it's going. Let's just change to Spline Street 2. You see that red line gets drawn? Uh, that is for debugging. I can know what I am pointing at. Now, unfortunately, I have them set to last for, I think it's 50 seconds. So when you change it like that, the old one stays for a while, too. Um, I still haven't figured out how to make it in editor, continuously draw the line while like get, getting rid of the line when it changes and just repeating that line in editor. Um, I am going to work on getting a feature that does it uh, at least when you hit play like this uh, when you're or when you hit play like simulate uh, or even normal play you'll be able to see those lines they're not perfect also sometimes when you have like a spline highlighted it disappears when you start the game I don't know what the deal is with that um, this car is broken uh, this is another bug uh, that I'm going to work on, which is if they're too close to their spot, uh, like the next spot they need to go to, they will stop because their speed gets ramped down to zero. Uh, and since their speed's ramped down to zero, they're not getting any closer, so they're just stuck. Um, and they do sometimes do crazy stuff like driving like that. Uh, not much I can do about that except reposition the splines, uh, so I'm not too worried about it right now. Um, but yeah, I wanted to throw in those few extra things I added. I uh, wanted to give people some idea of what I was doing. Oh, another thing. So because I'm using the full tutorial series, not just the cars, where he did something a little bit more basic, um, the I actually have the characters in the car. So when we stop it here and we see this guy who always gets stuck, um, they actually are just a person and they have a flag on them that says where the flag spawn in vehicle and so as soon as the game starts it spawns a vehicle and sticks them in it and their AI is the one controlling the car but they are still the controller of the person um, I had to fiddle with it a little bit evidently cars uh, to take inputs for driving they need to have a controller assigned to them so I had to and when you spawn in a car like that it doesn't get a controller so I had to give it a controller, just a dummy AI controller, so that I could pass the driving commands through to the car. It's kind of weird, but whatever. Uh, it worked out in the end. Uh, I'm pretty happy with the results. The uh, roads are, like I said, they're well named, and so that makes it a lot easier if you're like, oh, what, what comes after, in this case, uh, Beach Run 1 here? Uh, oh, I need to connect it to Zigzag Road 1. Uh, and so yeah, then you easily label it like that. That's, that's pretty handy uh, Yeah, the, the people controlling the cars I think it's good because it means that With my people spawners I could have them potentially sometimes if they get close to a car just get in it and start driving it uh, And so the all these cars in the parking lot could potentially get taken and moved around um, Of course, I would have to work on that one because that's dangerous situation to be in there there are potentially some very bad outcomes to that in that like because the cars don't despawn when you walk away the the driving cars don't despawn the people don't despawn you have a situation where eventually all the npcs have filled all the cars and so everyone's just driving and there's no pedestrians left but that's you know that's that's working up as as you make things as you polish uh that can be fixed uh but yeah that's that's the gist of what I've added for now. I just thought I'd, I'd add my two cents. Um, I can look at some of the code. So like for the road splines, for dry, drawing those lines when you choose which one goes to which, um, I use this, which is basically it is um, first thing, construction script of the spline. You set these two labels, um, display name and label, uh, and you set them to text equal to, uh, you guys probably heard that beeping noise, my headset cutting off. Or fixing cut off because uh, there's no sound coming through right now um, you can see uh, it sets the road name and it sets uh, it gets it gets the variable road name which is how I named the roads and it gets the name of the object uh, which is how it's labeled in the world outliner um, in 
so that's pretty easy on this guy it just goes and then here it goes through and just does a then on each single um, which I think I'm going to convert some of the previous stuff I've done uh, through the tutorial series into a then sequence because I think it cleans it up a lot with the flow but anyways um, if there is a valid straight path it draws a line from in this case the end minus 10 I, I had some issues I don't know for sure if this is what it was I think actually now I know what it is but I had some issues with the lines not showing up right so minus 10 uh, on the uh, minus 10 on the spline length so it'll be just from the end I think it was hitting the end and some of them were defaulting to world default for some reason anyways um, so draw a line starting there ending at uh, the path you know in this case straight the beginning of the straight line uh, so distance zero at straight line so pretty straightforward but really good for debugging and uh, paying it like what when you're setting up your roads you can see where you've uh, where you've gone wrong when a line goes off into the middle of nowhere oops assign that one wrong um, I also what I need to do is convert this into a function and make it run uh, here and also on the event graph at begin play and that'll mean you can hit the play button and see those uh, connections now I will need to put in a delay because that's the bug I was talking about if uh, anytime I change this stuff if I hit compile I believe it should recreate all the splines yeah and a bunch of them defaulted to zero zero and my thought is uh, the the object is still being recreated so um, one spline does not have the next spline yet because that spline doesn't exist yet in the in the millisecond it takes to generate one after the other the next one has not yet been created so they're they're defaulting to world default so I just need to adjust that um, and instead of saying on creation basically say on uh, event begin play um, or, or do both um, and maybe make it a shorter timer uh, so that those will fade quicker but that's the basic idea I think it'll work well and it'll allow me to debug my routes and paths really well um, and let's see the human controller um, so I added a in vehicle to the human controller um, and basically it says hey if there's a control vehicle return yes and return what the vehicle is um, that way you can use it as you go um, in the event graph um, we can see here I'm just on uh, basically event play uh, do you have are you in a vehicle yes then go ahead and go into uh, oops sorry AC just cut on that's gonna be loud and obnoxious I'll I'll wrap this up but if it's in vehicle then do the vehicle stuff if not oh another thing I added get nearest path so this will find the closest path to the car now there are some issues with that it grabs it, it instead of grabbing the nearest spot on any given path it grabs the nearest like center line which is where the the text goes up so if if a car is here it might actually grab up here even though it's closer to here I don't know I need to figure out how to make it like grab in the middle of a spline that's near it um, but I haven't quite figured that one out yet um, but it does grab the nearest path uh, using uh, get all actors which I think I can narrow that down to say get all actors in a certain area but right now I'm checking the entire world so every car when it starts up we'll check the entire world and find the nearest actor um, basically it just goes through for each uh, object uh, and that is a road spline for me because that's what I call roads um, it finds finds the lowest one and if it is lower than the one before it put it as nearest path if not then no and then at the end of it it returns nearest path to uh, the node which then gets called in other places uh, to set up the car and make sure that the car is on a path even though it doesn't have one by default so I don't have to set paths that's that's uh, the, the Star Reaper Studios he doesn't have anything like that so he has to tell the car which path to start on which is handy to some degree but it also isn't fantastic uh, so I don't know that's that's it I'm gonna wrap it up uh, I'm gonna keep this video kind of short um, especially with the uh, AC deciding to cut on and be super loud because uh, that's vent closed um, but yeah that's that's the idea though it, it does that uh, it does it pretty well 
I still need to like steering we're at kind of a funky state following Star Reaper Studios with the steering where it won't back up in any case even though sometimes it was kind of nice when it backed up if it was after it was over a certain degree that it needed to turn it would start backing up to kind of like make the turn happen and that allowed it to correct when it made mistakes pretty well um, but it needs to really detect it getting stuck if it's not moving even though the the uh, things apply then it just kicks it in reverse and cuts the wheel or something like that i don't i, don't, I haven't decided how i'm going to do it I, I might just wait for star reaper studios to put out their next one to figure that out but in any case it's pretty neat uh he's got a pretty good system here i think as soon as i get those ai people wandering around again uh it'll feel like a pretty lively city having you know multiple cars walk you know going around and people just wandering randomly uh, I, th I think it's pretty good, and I think I know what that is. I think it's my... Yeah, I don't have a nav mesh. That's why people aren't walking. Nav... Uh, I think it's this guy? It's been a while since I did this stuff. No. Maybe it is that. Uh, no. Oh, that's definitely not it. Uh, I don't remember. So yeah. Anyways, I think my nav mesh is missing. I think that's that's my issue. Um, and I think if I re put it in there and rebuild the nav mesh, people will wander around again, and my city will be even more lively. Oh, um, car spawners. I added um, as as well as making car spawner. I also said, hey, if you want police cars, check this. If you want ambulances, check this. Um, if you want cars to always spawn or perfect parkers so they never park backwards or if you want them specifically to park backwards I, I oh yeah i did put backwards likeliness and spawn likeliness is in there okay so you can totally adjust those things i forgot i'd done all that it's been a while since i did that phase but you hit play and you see bam okay uh, there's not, not a car is not going to spawn every single time a cop car although i thought i had those park backwards i guess i didn't uh i guess i, I have perfect parker but they're Oh, you know what? That's right. The arrow is is not forward to the car. It's forward to the spot. It's like out of the spot. What? Why did you... Perfect Parker. And spawn backwards. Uh, we'll sometimes spawn the car backwards. Oh, okay. That's a sometimes thing. Oh, it's okay. So... Oh, that's right. Perfect Parker um, is messiness of parking. Basically... If you have a non-perfect parker, they can park up to so many blocks from side to side. Um, that way, you know, you've got a, a more natural looking parking job. So like here, these guys are kind of random. They shouldn't be, or maybe I never implemented it, but they should not be perfect. Uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, they shouldn't be perfect anyways. Um, that's the idea. So I probably need an always park backwards check. I Actually, you know what? If you had an always park backwards, you'd just rotate the damn thing around. That's probably why I didn't do that. So, yeah, I need to rotate these because they don't make a lot of sense because this is road goes this way and somehow they're pulled in this way to the police station. So I'll need to adjust that. But in any case, it's pretty cool. It's working pretty well aside from these guys just sitting here looking like fools, uh, Mr. Caveman. But... The overall is it's fun. Uh, driving around the car is pretty fun because you can wreck into things. I don't have guns in it because I was really wanting to gu guns to work for multiplayer and I just couldn't figure it out. Uh, there's something I am missing. But the concept's there and guns in multiplayer would be really neat to run around and be able to shoot each other and have the AI wandering around. It would make it a lot more GTA-ish. But Anyways, I'm still rambling. Uh, thanks for watching. At the end of this video, Star Reaper Studios, I should have a link to uh, the tutorial series for both the uh, GTA 5 series and the uh, traffic series. Uh, so that hopefully you guys, if you haven't seen either of those, if you want to do this yourself, you totally can. I mean, I'm, I'm doing a little bit above and beyond, but the basic concept is not difficult. Um, and you can get something pretty close to this with with very little knowledge i mean you don't really have to know anything he really walks you through everything and that's great because i don't know that much so um those will be probably on the screen right now or maybe in a few seconds i i don't know how youtube works uh but they're going to be there and hopefully if you haven't done it you will if you have been following along and somehow stumbled on my video uh hopefully you've got some good ideas and can improve your city and eventually oh yeah that's that's a giant ramp if you notice that 
Uh, just, I was having fun ramping cars off of it at one point. Especially when the AI couldn't turn yet, it would just kind of drive straight until it started trying to ramp off. It was pretty funny. Uh, but hopefully you've taken some of my good ideas and made something better. And if you have, feel free to let me know. Uh, I'd love to see it. Um, I'm, I'm hoping that the Star Reaper Studios guy uh, is very happy to see what I've done with, with his uh, ideas. And I'd love to see some of them implemented back into his system so that uh, even more people can see it. But either way, thanks for watching. Bye.